Jonas. And there goes oh, Jonas with the left hand again. She does have so much pedigree. She is extremely focused early on. Natasha, that was class. We'll talk bo box about boxing in a minute, but I want to know who's your 32? Ooh. Liverpool, of course. You in? Oh, He's over the moon with that. Did you play um, as a kid as well? Yeah, I, 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 I want to say I was better than Nikita, but I wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I played. I went to America on a scholarship. Yeah. And yeah, I got injured and some, I, I, I lost, like, you know, you lose a whole. Friendship group of friends when you're don't, not involved in sports anymore. So I, I put on a lot of weight because I didn't do anything. And I started just going to my uncle's gym. And a woman used to bug me and bug me and bug me to come and try the boxing. And in the end, I give in. And that was 16 years ago. Now I've never right. looked back since. So, so you didn't even, sorry, you wasn't even interested in boxing as a kid, really? No, like when she said it, she was like, oh, you should, instead of training by yourself, come to this, come to the local gym, which was the Rotunda. I was like, Boxing. Who wants to get punched in the face? No thanks. But I, I didn't tell her that. I was just like, yeah, I'll come next week, I'll come next week. And then after months and months of doing that, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to go just to shut this woman up. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. When she asked me the next time, I'm going to say, I, don't, I didn't like her, I'm not going back. But I ended up liking and staying. So Just, just going back to football, so you mentioned the kids, that's Nikita Paris, who is obviously a lioness and she's playing for Leon. Um, obviously a, a top quality player. But I think you're doing yourself a bit of disservice because you, you were actually a, you were actually an excellent footballer yourself as well, weren't you? I was alright. I was alright. Yeah. I don't want to bring, bring myself too much into, until we do the challenges. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like yeah, it. <laughs> all right. All right. Do you remember your first proper fight? Yeah. You know, I'll never forget it. That was the one that got me hooked. You're always like chasing the high of the first one, and um, it was in the Adelphi, just there, on, a, on a club show. I wasn't. I was. I was okay. Like. For me, I, I was 21 at the time, so I was like, I was over all the boys' stage and going out stage and all that stage, and I just wanted, I was just happy to be back and doing something and involved in something. And, um, there was just people rotting everywhere, going, go ahead, girl, go ahead, girl. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and obviously, we had the likes of all the Smiths, Bell, you all, and they were like, they was all, you know, weighing in and saying, watch what happens to my opponent. And I was just like, oh. Just like, and then I went and I stopped it in the second round, so oh, that, that was even nice. more. I was just like, yeah, go ahead. Brilliant. How, um, did you, did you, how, how did you find it, you know, when you get out there and obviously you've got a bit of a partisan crowd, you've got a lot of people rooting for you. Is it kind of, have you got to learn to kind of like rein that in and not kind of get, get too, too sort of, you know, they call it over arousal, don't they, where people just like lose their heads? I think you just like as soon as the bell goes, it's mad because you don't hear you don't hear nothing. No. Like you just switch off. But you can always pick up on voices, and there's two voices I pick up on. Is one's Joe's, yeah. and the other one's my mum, and she's always <laughs> she's always <laughs> shouting Jesus. stupid stuff like "Don't let her hit your like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? Coach, not man. <laughs> yeah, right, we go. We got to talk about this uh, this this little fight you got coming up. Uh, May the first. Um, you're taking on Katie Taylor for the undisputed oh, yeah. lightweight world title. Now, you, you've fought... Uh, um, have you fought her twice before? Uh, yeah, I've fought her... Uh, everyone only remembers the Olympics, but yeah. she's actually beat me in a tournament before that okay. as well. Thanks so, for bringing that up. Sorry, oh. but, you know... <laughs> all right, no, so, but my question is, you know, how do you, you beat her? How do you go about beating Katie Taylor? I can't, I can't give away my secrets, yeah. but I think, you know, in her last few fights, I think, you know, Pursuing and, you know, McCaskill have showed that she is human. Sometimes in boxing, you, 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 you feel like you're boxing people's autos or people's legacies. Yeah. And she's got a good legacy because she has done a lot. Yeah. But, you know, she's not unbeatable. Absolutely. It, it is, it's incredible, isn't it? You know, you've got yourself and Katie and a whole host of, of, of female boxers now. The, the rise of the sport, it, it's, it's fantastic to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. And I think, you know, when the, the fight was announced, one of, the, one of the things was, like, why isn't it top of the bill? Which just goes to show how far women's boxing's come in such yeah. a short space of time. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. Um, now, when you're not fighting, you're, uh, you're doing some punditry work, aren't you? Are you enjoying that? Yeah, it's the, it's, the, it's the huge part. I'm just talking about everyone else getting punched instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, better, <isn't> <laughs> and, uh, and you're working tonight on the, on the Conor Ben, the Conor Ben fight. Um, oh, it's, uh, there's, a, there's a great undercard there. We've got uh, Shannon Courtney, and she's fighting... Uh, who's she fighting? The, um, yeah, Bridges. Yeah, that's... Um, 
Th there's a yeah, vacant WB, a yeah, bantamweight yeah. title. Right. Um, there's been a little bit of needle, a bit, a bit of chit chat between the two. Obviously, you know they're going to hype it up. But um, who wins that fight? If you would have asked me a week ago, I'd have said, you know, Shannon wins it easy, clearly. Um, but I was speaking to Ebony through the weekend, and, and she, she seems they're confident. So something's like, ooh, I wonder, I wonder if she's got mm. something up her sleeve. So it should be a good fight, and I think all the hype as, as, as for once. And, and again, women's all eyes are on women's boxing yeah. for all the right reasons. That's good so. stuff. Ready for prom in a few minutes? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a look. We'll see, won't we? Look, like Kate Taylor versus Natasha Jonas on May the 1st, live on Sky Sports Box yeah. or Facebook for the time being. Natasha Jonas. Yeah.